What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. We've got brand new show times. We're going to do a quick Thursday roundup. Vinny Jr. and, of course, Tony Cruz as well. Luckman is there as well in this show time. I'm a bit surprised with this pack. We'll get into it later on in the live stream. I'm, I'm actually surprised with their release schedule. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it, but that is the new showtime. We knew that we were going to be getting a new showtime, but this is a brand new type of showdown, a showtime card. Um, we have the three players here, just a, a cute little trailer, as we usually do. Um, but yeah, I think at this stage, man, I, I don't think that we're going to see anything major until eFootball 2025. I think that they're locked into this release schedule, the release pattern, um, the showtime, the big time, the epics, the boosters, the player of the week, switch from domestic leagues to international uh, competitions such as the Euros. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting. I would be very interested in this Luckman card. Uh, we do have its free version that they gave us a while back. But yeah, I, I feel like at the at this stage, these cards are literally just gloss. Um, you know, there's no real need for these cards, in my opinion. Um, but this Luckman does look nice. I will be I will be fair to the card, right? Now, also, we still have the Maradona pair launch. Javi Alonso running on. We have our login bonus still ongoing as well, as you see there. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just going to be rinse and repeat, I think, from here on in. Uh, King of the Continent Volume 1 is still ongoing. That is going to be over next week. So the 7th of the 27th of June, that is going to be finished. So that is going to continue on for another week. And then it will be refreshed. In terms of everything else, we kind of know by now. It, it's sometimes hard to predict what they're going to add. But we do kind of know as well what they're going to add if that makes sense. Because it's kind of the same thing. We have Team Play Fun back. We have Golden Goal that is back as well. As European club tournaments. Now this is going to be an interesting one, right? Um, this is just kind of a different style of event. Um, but it's pretty much still the same thing as we've done all the time. They've just kind of renamed it. And the national team teamed event there as well. Is going to be joined by the national team on the AI. And this European club tournaments as well. So this is where you get your free uh, player of the week spin. Now listen, when you're playing games like this. I mean... <sighs> I don't feel like that they need to extend this out too much. I just feel like they need to have a brand new grindable, uh, you know, aspect to the game, right? Um, eFootball League is still ongoing. All of that is still the same. That's pretty much it for the, for the matches. So you won't be doing too much there. Um, and of course, it's also going to be about the objectives and stuff like that still ongoing. Uh, King of the Continent is still ongoing. We're going to have logins. You should have that seven day one now to get your 100 eFootball coins. Um, what else? There's more objectives here that you can get the Argentina free deals and the chance deals, and these are all for completing objectives. So in, in order to clear this, you need to clear 20 objectives to get the Argentina deal, but you will be able to get the France one as well. Um, the, Fran the French pack means a lot of people, if they didn't get Mbappe or whoever you didn't get in the last uh, French one, that is going to be there now for you. So um, yeah, it's going to be, listen, as I said, man, we've we've spoken about it before. Um, there's just a little nice message there as well. He'll no longer be available for that uh, sad debt of uh, the passing of Sarkic. Um, so yeah, that's just something else as well that they've taken out there. Um, the player obviously is as a mark of respect. The daily game is still ongoing. And just to go through this very quickly before we give a brief rundown of the cards. I mean, listen, lads, you probably hear it in my voice, man, and you probably hear it in my energy levels. Oh, of course you say it, but yeah, of course you do. Um, I'm just kind of at a stage now, man, where I'm a little bit kind of... I won't say fed up, but it's just kind of like, I'm just waiting for eFootball 2025. Um, I mean, you know, just, everybody has stacked teams. Everybody's playing the same way. You know, it's win at all costs. They haven't really done anything to... Um, you know, I suppose make this game what it should be uh, and make it fun. You know, there's no real reason to play this game for fun for a lot of people, unfortunately, um, including sometimes myself, where it gets frustrating when you're losing, you're trying different formations, tactics, instead of just trying what works, um, you know, and, and you know that you're you're going to give yourself the best chance of winning games. They've extended this as well. I, I said yesterday in the video, blah, 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 the video that these were going to be gone. I forgot that they were going to be extended. Um, and all these here as well, the national teams, all of these are going to be extended. Um, and also we do have the national player of the week. So this is probably a little bit more of where I would say that they would go with it. We did predict a couple of these players. I mean, I think we had predicted about pretty much all of these players except John Stones. We had Bellingham instead of Stones. Oblak was there as well. Musiala, of course, has been player of the tournament so far, I would say, the Euros. Um, this Kante looks pretty decent. I know a lot of people would have missed out on Kante. But the best thing about this is that your other versions of Kante are going to be on A form. Um, 83 speed, 85 acceleration. It's not going to be the best Kante car, but he does have a booster, which is always nice. He's going to have 90 plus acceleration and balance with all these defensive skills. It's That's probably the pick of the pack. 
Um, you also have Booster Musiala. I mean, he's been dominating lads in the Euros. He's just a fantastic player. And Barella we've got there as well. It's a nice option. And then we have Fabian Ruiz. I like this guy, man, when I was playing with him in my free-to-play. Not this exact card. The rest of the cards there, as standard. I mean, you have this uh, Romanian guy as well. He's been pretty beastly. Uh, doesn't have a booster, but yeah, pretty decent cards as well. And Oblak. I haven't had a card for Oblak in a long, long time. Um, so that is the player of the week there. The European Club Tournaments Showtime Players. Now, this is interesting, right? Because not only do we have the three boys here um, that are going to be the big time, we also have Kudos, we have De Maria, we've got Mbemba, we've got a lot of nice players in here. There's a lot of nice players in here, in, in, including a couple of teamed ones, um, obviously for the Champions League and the Europa League. Um, but yeah, it's going to be all about Vinny Jr., lads. I think this guy is definitely going to be, I would say, one of the best ones. Now, they have him back out as a momentum dribbling. But I'm, I, I think when he came out, it was obviously part of the Momentum Dribbling Pack. He does have ball roll off the rip. It is a nice card. Tony Cross then as well is going to have his uh, visionary pass. So it seems to be that they're splitting the, uh, you know, the actual player skills, the Showtime player skills. And then Luckman as well here. Luckman is not going to have, I don't think, any of the special Showtime. Um, no, he doesn't. He's got double touch. He's got soul control. He's got super sub. You probably need to give him flip flap. I'm intrigued in this look, man, lads. He's got 32 levels. His tie possession and balance, you know, you pop 10 into that, it's going to go uh, into the 90s or 12 into that. You're going to go into the 90s with the manager boost. Speed, acceleration, kick and park and all go pretty much to 90 as well. And finishing. It is a nice card. Now, obviously, nothing compares to this Pirlo uh, pack here with Maradona and Xabi Alonso. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I just feel like at this stage, man, I mean... Yeah, I just feel, obviously, as I said, man, I, I, I feel as if it's 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 just needed a big injection into it, like a, a big boost into it. We've no players still in the shop if people are asking me about that. And I think the rinse and repeat now of logging in, clearing the objectives, doing your penalty, you know, getting your daily rewards, playing a couple of eFootball divisions or leagues, um, you know, spinning players and stuff. It's kind of hard to continuously do that. If you are already sitting on an absolute stack team, you know, or any like just selection of teams that you have, you know, it's, um, yeah, listen, let me know what you guys think. But uh, yeah, we'll be back streaming today. We don't know how long we'll stream for, but we'll definitely stream in a little bit, maybe in around an hour's time. Um, so I hope to see you guys there. Until the next time, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button. And let me know. I am working on a couple of different videos, but let me know exactly where your head is at, lads, with eFootball currently. Um, I mean, I just feel it myself. I just feel like it's waiting for that next big drop. Like, there was a bit of hype of E3.6 with all the cards. Fantastic. Um, but I think eFootball 2025 is the one. Marginal increases and improvements in the game is always welcome. And I think they have done that with V3.4 to V3.5 to V3.6. Um, but yeah, I definitely think now they need to give something grindable and continue down this path. So let me know your thoughts. We'll get into it in detail in uh, the live stream. Until next time, I'll talk to you in a bit.